Hello everyone, my name is Ashni Salvaraj. In today's session, we have Shari Raj. She is the founder and creative director of Vivaha and she is also the founder and managing director of Shifus. The rest of the details about her, we'll get to know from her. Hello Ashwini. Hello ma'am. How nice are you to do? meet you. I'm good. How are you? I'm good ma'am. I'm good. So, um, we'll start with your self-introduction. How would sure. you like to creatively talk about yourself? I'm a mompreneur. I'm a psychologist, a cosmetologist and a coffee blogger. As you know, I'm a trained classical dancer and I'm a fitness freak. What keeps you going ma'am? What's your energy? Nothing. It's all about to reach my short-term goals and to achieve my long-term goals. I just keep it in my mind. Today I have to do this and I will start my day. Where do you get the inspiration? Inspiration I get everywhere. My son is an inspiration. My mother is one inspiration. My grandmother is one inspiration. So wherever I go, I find my inspiration there. So it motivates me to move on. How do you balance your work life and your uh, family life now? I believe women is a multitasker. I have seen my mom doing multitasking over years. And after becoming a mom, so multitasking is just any other thing for me. Do you think gender or age is a barrier to be an entrepreneur? I strongly believe age or gender is not a barrier at all for an entrepreneur. It's just a mindset. You have to go through a lot of struggles in the life and then you have to create your own mindset that I wanted to achieve this thing and have to start. I firmly believe nothing like that. Since you are holding a multifaceted face, uh, would you like to give tips on each field that you are in? For the younger generation. Okay, I'm a beauty pageant winner, as you know, Mrs. Tamil Nadu winner and Mrs. Th South India, I want runner up. I believe modeling or beauty pageant, these things will definitely boost your confidence in women. The way we walk, the way we talk, and we also do networking. So it is not just about the beauty, it's about beauty with brain. I believe every um, every business or every stream has its own positivity. So we have to embrace that positivity. Everybody in this world right now want to become an entrepreneur, right? So what is the one good attitude or uh, one thing, a trait, I would say, that people want to carry? So it is all about consistency, I believe. Discipline, mindset, teamwork. These are the main factor if we want to become one entrepreneur. So first of all, you should have the discipline. You have to think about the business 24 by 7. So you should like that business first of all. You are going to eat that business, live with that business and going to sleep with that business. So obviously you should have passion about that particular service or product you are going to sell in the market. The passion is the one thing and then your mindset and you, you should have your own team. Anyway, 24 by 7 you are not going to work. You cannot work. Nobody can do that. So instead of that, you have to build your own team so that they will take care of the business and you can do some innovative thing or you can uh, spread the business. Well ma'am, while speaking you said you are a passion planner than entrepreneur. How do you define that term? Passion planner is nothing but you know a person who pursue their passion as a business. As I said, I love coffee and flowers. So I started Vivaha, which is I'm the uh, founder and creative director. I love flowers. So when I started the decor business, I wanted to do more of floral arrangements. I love flowers, like I wanted to import a lot of flowers from the abroad and wanted to create new concepts in flowers. So the love for flowers made me to do Vivaha. And the love for coffee, I, I started brewing coffee at very uh, young age. Then it gave me a lot of happiness. So I wanted to pursue that as my business. So we do 100% Arabica coffee in our cafe. If you want to uh, opt in uh, employee, to your own shop, what are the caliber that you expect from them? 100% um, discipline, person who thinks out of box and who actually adapts into that in environment. It has to be very friendly, right? The relationship is very important. Let's say I'm hiring in one admin for my cafe, I'll make sure they're very friendly so that they will maintain the relationship with the customer also with the other staff. So that is the most important thing. How do you think the digital market is helping your business to you know, grow better way? Digital marketing boom like anything in this current generation. Before we used to go for print media, right? We spend money like anything for print media. These days, you know, every uh, individual themselves is an influencer. They're posting, they're tagging us, they're posting into their media. 
we are not bringing people who we have to pay money and who we, who uh, they will review our food we are asking reviews from our regular customers like you know every day they are coming or new customers we are taking feedback and we are asking them to tag us that motivates us to do much more business in a better way what is the tactic that you uh, opt to handle your uh, regular customer and how do you convert them into potential the customers quality we maintain the quality day one how our coffee blend was there still it is the same so we make sure it is 100% arabica coffee we are providing for that coffee they are coming again and again we are not um thinking about any other thing to reduce the quality because sometimes you know the coffee prices are going high but still we are maintaining the same quality when we maintain the quality obviously the customer will come back that is our motto ma'am could you please uh, tell us the ambition of starting shibru cafe as i said i'm a coffee lover i used to travel a lot more than 12 to 13 countries i have visited only for coffee i used to bring coffee beans all over the world and i have my own experiment studio at my home so i try different varieties of coffee and my friends and family they strongly believe that i am a good coffee brewer and then when i come back to coimbatore i find there is no arabica coffee in coimbatore then i thought why don't we start our own cafe then i travel to chikmangalur kur and i wanted to bring the best indian coffee which is from chikmangalur and kur i stayed there for more than 12 to 13 days and i did own own research and we got coffee from the same estate so the quality is same it is like gold rate the coffee we serve it is all about the love i had for coffee now we have two branches and we wanted to open more branches for shibros right now we have one in coimbatore and one in avinashi in near future after 2 3 years we'll definitely open more outlet and and we are planning to give franchise also there are so many coffee days out in coimbatore what is so special about shibro that you would say in shibro as i said in shibros we serve 100% arabica coffee there is no chicory at all and then we do have flavors of coffee white chocolate coffee which we are not adding any extra ingredients the coffee itself they taste like white chocolate so we have few varieties of coffee like that and we do serve filter coffee in pure arabica form amazing you said that you are the creative director of vivaha so tell us where from where did you get this idea of starting up vivaha i did design communication there i studied color wheel and everything so design is all about you know your love for the colors your love for the things you see your inspiration from the nature so when i started vivaha i want to do floral arrangements instead of the big sets normally we are used to the, used to all the big sets right in the weddings and all we used to see big sets and then we started like you know only floral arrangements and that that too we do only pastel shades i started importing more flowers from abroad so we started doing english wedding concept i created new new concept like for example i did a red volcano concept where we had seven layers of red flowers mm. not just red rose we used anthuriums exotic flowers we used for that wedding so it's all about the love i have for flowers and the color i like mostly pastel shades we do so when you talk about the pastel colors then you should be uh, knowing a good color definitely also, right? yeah 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 definitely so for the decor what is the one thing that we have to keep in mind for decor <clears throat> i don't go for warm colors i mostly use tint of green tint of blue tint of uh, purple mostly the tints i use i don't use the hue mm -hmm. hue is nothing but the darkest shade i mostly use it tints eye soothing colors eye soothing colors exactly it should be very pleasant and uh, you know the bride and the groom they should get the limelight so the decor should go hand in hand with their um, attire on that day i'll make sure i'll see their attire and then i'll plan for the decor how do you design ma'am for every wedding you said you're I following a different yeah. uh, i start with a pencil sketch i normally i don't repeat the designs so whoever comes to us we will say like we will do only unique concept and we will ask their inspirations they can send inspirations from the pinterest and all and later we will do the pencil sketching and we'll do creative uh, creatively we do some unique designs so that the bride groom and their family accepts that later on we will shift that to the computer and then the other work starts in the software later on if they want 3d view also we can provide them if they hire vivaha it's not just about the design vivaha if they are hire like it's uh, zero tension for them 
we will take care of everything as you know wedding business is very sensitive so right from every activity we have our own team we have our own checklist so that the family can come as a guest even the bride and groom they can be a guest in their own wedding every tensions are taken care by vivaha ma'am what is the trend in style uh, that you see in a luxurious decor in big fat wedding we normally use different furnitures instead of the regular chairs we opt for different varieties of sofas which has a laser cutting behind with gold intricate designs also we provide um, you know the ceiling we normally see all the you know fabric draped ceiling instead of that we started using bamboos the greeneries on top and some exotic lights also these days you know the round tables are quite famous so th- those days we used to see 10000 people or 5000 people in a luxury wedding these days the quantity has reduced the quality has increased so even 100 to 500 people may be the guest but we design that kind of seat arrangements for them uh, let's say uh, round tables are quite famous now and we also do uh, flower vases and floral arrangements on top detailed work for every seating one ma'am the strategy that you follow in vivaha vivaha if they hire us zero tension for them we will take care of everything a to z and even during covid times my uh, clients they wanted sabya sachi attire so we planned such things and we arranged uh, their lehengas and everything from calcutta we are not charging anything it is all extra services we provide for them it is not about money it, it is about the service we provide to the client and we are solving their uh, needs i mean we are we are giving solution to their problems the last question then the motivation that uh, you would like to give it for the future entrepreneurs motivation you need not get inspired uh, with the internet and everything you can get inspired with the people around you also you should have the mindset whatever goes into your mind it's going to be the output so better thinking and you know you have to be very disciplined consistency is very important in any business not just entrepreneurship in any business the consistency is very important and anyway you're going to breathe your business for 24 by 7 so make sure you per- you pursue your own passion thank you ma'am pleasure meeting you and pleasure is mine thank you, you.